Hi all, I am Suresh from Sion Semiconductors. Here is a video on getting started with Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry Pi is a credit card sized computer developed by Raspberry Pi found organization. So it has inbuilt 4 USB modules and a LAN port connection, HDMI cable and a an, uh, mic out. It also acts as mic in. So and then uh, camera module so you can connect any number of modules if you want it depending upon your GPI opens coming to internal memory it is depending upon user you can connect from 8GB to 128GB SD card so it is uh, midway between your smartphone and then computer so it is basically called single board computer so uh, Raspberry Pi supports all types of operating systems that are present in daily life that is Windows, Linux and Android what not all depend, all depend based it will support. So the first aim is to load up an uh, Raspberry Pi with an OS. So in order to get downloading the OS you need to visit Raspberry Pi website. So Raspberry Pi website and download page. So you have two OSs called Noobs and Raspbian which are very familiar with students and so these are all extra OSs that are present. So you have Windows IoT Core and you can make it as work as weather station that is inbuilt OS is present and Ubuntu also you can load. So we are starting with Raspbian OS. So if you press this Raspbian, you'll have an Raspbian Jesse with Pixel. So the latest release is 25th 11 November 2016. And after downloading torrent, you will get an ISO file like this. So you got an uh, OS of it. And after this, you have to go to Google and search for Windows 32 Disk Imager. So download a uh, version of it and you will get an after installing you will get like this. So select an image file which is present uh, redirect it to where you have stored. So I stored in desktop pi. So you will get an OA, uh, ISO file if you have downloaded and select it and after putting it and you need a card reader for this insert a card reader insert a card reader so after this put it and and download it so then OSS loads up and this is all you need to do with Raspbian OS so ok after getting your OS insert your memory card into slot given in Raspberry Pi so be careful so after that done so your uh, Raspberry Pi is powered with your SD card so as a beginner you need to know how to connect this connections basic input output connections to the monitor keyboard everything so you have so uh, two USBs I am connecting mouse and keyboard the good thing with uh, Raspberry Pi is it is having HDMI output so it is very fast and it is the latest technology used for imaging so in order to connect to an monitor you need an HDMI to VGA cable converter so I got one so I am connecting this and that's all so to power up to power up power uh, Raspberry Pi, so you need an USB cable that is normally connected to your mobile phones and everything. So you got this and connect to them. So so you will see like Raspberry Pi is powering up. So Raspberry Pi loads up and you can see OS loading up. Uh, 
uh, wait for few seconds so your raspberry pi loads up this is basically raspbian os it has mixed graphical user interfaces of your windows and linux so you have a terminal here and menu same as like windows so coming to programming your raspberry pi supports python programming java programming scratch c c++ and what not everything and it has inbuilt office and an internet browser and this is the gui is very easy to operate so now the basic aim is to control an led using raspberry pi so uh, led blinking or led control is the basic thing we will come across embedded systems so here we gonna control your led using python script so in order to get started with python script so you have many tutorials like uh, many online pdfs describing about uh, python you can get it and this is python 3 ideal we are using so this is basically python shell okay so you want to control your led via this python shell so in order to get that you need to know the pinout of your raspberry pi so coming to pinout of raspberry pi it has 40 pin out so you can you can connect as many number of devices and you can extend using that uh, PCI or something so in order to give designation in raspberry pi you have two more like you can call it by via pin numbers like pin 1 2 3 you can see or dedicated pins are there in raspberry pi so it is gpi go 2 that pin 3 belongs to gpi go 2 so like this so be careful while you are connecting or while you are designating them because it will make a lot of differences so what we gonna do is we gonna control gpio 17 or pin 11 uh, and connected an, to an led today using python script so that's it for your uh, hardware configuration script so i have already written a program so i gonna explain you how to write it so So this is basically the python script written to control leds so you can see first thing is import rpi uh, dot gpio as gpio see every system has inbuilt gpio pens and your raspberry pi 2 has an inbuilt pens you need to make a map up of kernel and your raspberry pi hardware outputs uh, internally using software and that is all done by your import and you have import time that is for your delay purposes and you have like gpio set mode dot in brackets gpio bcm so it is board control mode also you can write G, gpio dot board see gpio dot bcm designates is as gpio 17 2 or 3 uh, be, uh, while you use a board it will be given pin numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 etc so i gonna control a light uh, or led bulb so i'll name it as light so i'll assign it uh, 17 pin to it so whenever i wanted to use it a light pin so i'll just call that pin so that it will uh, uh, glow it so you gonna set up that in output mode and while true this is while loop so that it will uh, continuously loop twice so i'm gonna uh, blink led with an uh, time delay of 0.5 seconds that is 500 milliseconds so that's it for your uh, software part and coming to your connections so okay so as you can see from pin out the fifth pin from this row is a ground pin so you have to connect your and uh, cathode of your uh, LED to ground and to and GPIO 17 is the output 
so you have to connect to this so uh, that's all for the hardware connections and coming to your running your module so every python script is called module and when you go into run you have a run module option so when you start with it so you gonna see that there are no errors and programming is running fine so if you wanna see hardware output uh, see the LEDs so you can see that your LED is blinking with 500 milliseconds so you can see that uh, LED is blinking and this is how you can control your LEDs or your lights in the house using this technique python so here we have used the interface the simple led if you interface and relay with this so you gonna control your leds or lights that are fans everything connected to this so this is the base of home automation that is very popular nowadays and uh, raspberry pi gonna lead you to uh, leading technologies like you can build 3d printers uh, iot's and home automations so this is all for this day and I'm Suresh signing off from Sion Semiconductors. Thank you.